What's up, everybody? We're back with some more Ghost Trick. Yeah. And we're up to Chapter 7. It's 10.05 p.m. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, there was uh, the big old explosion at Point X. Oh, yeah. Th that we had to go investigate. It's been like a week for us since recording, so it took, it's taken a minute to remember what's going yeah. on. But yeah, Point X. I just can't get the images I saw at police headquarters out of my head. The person who shot me tonight the person, uh, the last person in the world I wanted to believe did it. Now I'm here at the place she and I agreed to meet. The restaurant the police were staking out is Point X. But when I got here, I found the place in ruins. Oh, this is, this is looking good. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. That's a big piece of chicken. Whoa, what in the world happened here? Loud. Uh, what's up, Mr. Chef? Heard <laughs> the heavens, what do we do? If I had known something this would happen, I would have paid the poor child more. I would have cooked more chicken for her. I would have sung to her as much as she liked, so she had a fill. I should have been singing. She didn't tell me she had a fill a time or two. <laughs> the chef seems to be in quite a panic. Well. Anyway, uh, at least it looks like the waitress, er, it, it doesn't look like the waitress is dead. Yes. It's good. Well, I guess, no, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to leave. Not yet, anyway. So you can go to his hat, you can go to that wheel. Yeah, let's just roll the wheel over here. Hey, there, there's a body underneath that chicken. Oh. That silhouette looks somewhat familiar. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look at me! I'm dead! What took you so long? Stop dying! That's what I do! <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's one way to greet a guy. What happened here? Hey, how should I know? I'm the victim. Is it just my imagination, or is she getting more and more brazen every time she dies? <laughs> Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Good lord. Sorry. Uh, that's because I'm a detective. Have to be tough, you know. If you were tough, you wouldn't be dead. Uh, you could be tough and dead. Well, and how did it go? Did you check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99? She's not even remotely concerned that she's dead right now. Man, just like... She knows you'll fix it. <laughs> yep, just like I promised. Actually, I have a few things I want to ask you about, too. Sure. We agreed to use each other after all, right? Okay, let's swap info then. On my way here, I stopped by the chief of police's office. Oh, it was just on your way, was it? And while I was there, I saw who did it. I saw my murderer. You saw him? Where? How? Not him. Her. There was a security camera uh, in the junkyard where I got shot. The security tape showed the person that shot me. It was you. <laughs> no way. You're kidding, right? What do you have to say for yourself, detective? It wasn't me. I didn't shoot you. If I recall, this is what you said about who shot me. My memory just isn't clear on that part. So how can you say for sure that it wasn't you? B because! I told you before! You were supposed to give me some information! Information, huh? Maybe that information was the reason you shot me. What? What do you mean? Oh, she's looking pretty sus. <laughs> you said you had information on the case I'm looking into. So I would hardly shoot you before I even heard that information, right? I agree. That would make sense if it was before. Huh? But what if it was after you'd already gotten the information from me? I definitely told you something then. And whatever it was, it really shocked you. What did I tell you? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. You've got to believe me. 
After you saved me, I thought I got all my memories back. But maybe I really didn't. You told me something? I can't remember that part at all! You got the information you wanted from me, and then you shot me. Isn't that what happened? No, no, I didn't shoot you! Please, tell me. What did you tell or what, what did you tell me that time? What did I learn from you? Hmm. Well, anyway, here's the information you wanted. <laughs> Just like you said, each prisoner had a little blackboard in his cell. But the thing is, there wasn't anything written on prisoner D99's blackboard. It was blank. What? I guess maybe it means his work schedule for tomorrow hasn't been decided yet? Blank. Blank? No! Uh, I didn't think she would lose it over a blank blackboard. How come you're so upset about an undecided work schedule? I get the feeling that back when I was alive, I'd never had much of a schedule to worry about myself. Do you know what it means when a prisoner doesn't have a schedule for the next day? Uh, they get lollipops and candy. Mm. <laughs> Did it mean something? It doesn't mean he doesn't have work to do. It means he can't work. That's because he's going to be executed. Executed? Bleh. Do you know what Prisoner D99's crime was? I think so. They said something about him murdering his wife right in front of a family member. That's what they say, but it's not true. He would never. Detective Jowd would never do anything like that. The death penalty hasn't been enforced in this country for a very long time. Not for decades. Even if the prisoner wants it, like in this case. The prisoner wants it? There's definitely something else going on with this case. I just know it. And I have to find out what. And if his work schedule is blank for tomorrow, I have to do it right now. So this prisoner D99, Detective Jack, he must be connected to me in some way too. Oh yeah. He, he, he like painted me and stuff. After all, he obviously knows me. The police were staking this restaurant out tonight. They called it Point X. Point X, huh? That's a good name for this place. That white-suited inspector was surprised to find out you just casually waltzed in here. Inspector Cabanella? What in the world made you pick this place, anyway? I guess I'd have to say, because of you. Me? Huh? Do you remember the note I found? Yeah, I remember. The note I didn't get a chance to read. It had a place and a time written on it. The chicken kitchen, 10 o'clock. In other words... I was supposed to meet somebody here tonight? Yep, apparently so. I just had to get that information you were going to give me. That's why I came here. It was the only lead I had left. And this here is point X, so that must mean... The mark the police were waiting for was... me? Hmm. So, what are you going to do now? I mean, you fulfilled your goal, right? You found out who shot you. Hmm. Are you going to get revenge? That would be easy enough to do. All you have to do is not save me. Don't tempt me. Is this the ending I was hoping for? Yep, that's it. <laughs> series series <laughs> over. I'm glad you guys enjoyed Ghost Trip. <laughs> <laughs> Solved the mystery. Now. What am I going to do now? I'm going to save you, that's what. You are? I want to know everything. Who I was, why I was killed. And I'd like to know who those guys are, too. I want answers, and I'm going to find them. But to do that, I'm going to need your help. Okay. I won't say thank you. Not yet. Bitch. <laughs> and I won't say I'm sorry, either. Why are you awful? But I'll help see to it that you get your answers. Look, Good. She, she doesn't know... 
who you are, she might be like, man, I really did want you dead. So yeah, no, I'm not going to say sorry if I really fucking hated you, but I just don't know yet. <laughs> I think it's time to go back to the past. Gotta get back. Back to the past. Can't leave you lying flattened under a huge chunk of chicken forever, after all. <laughs> Ultimate revenge killed by chicken. Ultra chicken. <laughs> well. The note said, Chicken Kitchen, 10 o'clock. I wonder who that pointy haired man was going to meet here. What's this? You know you got a fancy restaurant if you got an elevator. Yeah, two Let's floors. See. There you go! That's almost exactly the voice that I was going to hear, too. <laughs> nice! <laughs> like a high-pitched Fran Drescher. <laughs> I don't know why, either. Where's my chicken? Uh, I don't think that's the exact direction that I was going with it, but... <laughs> same ballpark. S same ballpark. <laughs> Can I eat that thing? That's a big piece of chicken. That's a big piece of chicken. I like chicken. Sweet backflip. Oof. Victory! I saved the day, and nothing bad will ever happen to Woo! me. Black <laughs> law! <laughs> You're just going for bigger and better with each new death, aren't you? Leave me alone. Can I help it if I got tired of dying the usual ways? Yes! You can absolutely help that. But I'll say this, uh, this is a death any detective would be proud of. Huh? What makes you say that? The way you saved somebody else before dying yourself. Oh, that waitress? The one with the chicken on her head? No, you're the one with the chicken on your head. Oh! <laughs> Next time you put a chicken on your head, you should try one about the size of the waitress's. I'll make a note of that for next time. Anyway, if you hadn't tried to save that waitress, you'd still be alive. I couldn't help it. You know, the detective thing and all. I wasn't able to save that poor van driver, though. At that speed, he must have died instantly. Well, we can't let a heroic detective like you stay dead. The root of this whole disaster is clear. The only question is, how do I stop it? Okay, let's get started. So how do I stop a giant piece of chicken from falling on your face? I don't know. Oh. See what we got access to here. We can go over here. We can ring a bell. We can look at a thing. And I can try to examine whatever you're reading. You wrote this note, right? Uh, I think so, but I don't remember. 10 o'clock. That means it's already time for your meeting with whoever it is. Now that I think about it... Whoever you're supposed to meet might already be here. You're the detective. Shouldn't you have checked that when you got here? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Checking this restaurant is really good, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I don't know. Maybe we should take a look around the rest of the restaurant. Rest of the restaurant. Uh, well, let's, let's ring a bell for service here. Ring a bell? Yeah. You rang? Oh, God. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good crack. Yeah. Huh? Oh, sorry. I didn't ring the bell. Okay, I get it. This was a little dig, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? No, not at all. <laughs> Besides, I didn't ring it. Okay, that's all right, then. But the chef's the one who makes the chicken. No sense in harassing me about it, all right? Oh, man, now it's Morty. Yeah. <laughs> Morty in a chicken suit. Yeah, it's like female Morty. <laughs> Just keep that in mind, okay? Oh no, I, I'm pretty sure I needed a oh, ride on her. I agree. Me too. <laughs> she agreed with so, herself. So I gotta, I gotta ring the bell again, and then before I talk to her, I gotta hop on a ride. I think. Oh, there's nothing to hop on. I've just, I've, I've annoyed you for no reason. 
Yeah, there's nothing, nothing to really interact with at the moment. So I think I just gotta wait. Yeah, yeah, we, we still agree that she's an odd girl. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the conversation I want to listen to. <laughs> hey, we can't hear what they're saying. Don't yell at me. Apparently we ghosts can't hear conversations that are too far away. If we want to hear what they're saying, we have to get closer. What? But I want to be able to hear what they're saying. Yeah, those two are definitely suspicious. Hmm, I was supposed to meet somebody here at the restaurant tonight. Maybe it wasn't so much just meat, but more like something else? Mm, yes, yeah, Cicero! If all goes well with our deal tonight, we'll have the power to change the world, sir. Mm, yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We mustn't, well, we can't afford to make mistakes. A deal? I wonder what it's all about. I wish I knew. Those two are definitely worth checking out. Like library books. Uh, what was that sign? Tempting dessert menu, maybe? It's kind of embarrassing to have somebody watch your every move like this. No, that sign was... Come to think of it, what did that sign say? My memory's a little hazy on that part. In any case, just hang around here isn't going to fix anything. I'll have to look for a way to get beyond this area. Yeah, that's why I'm like... I feel like when she comes by with... The, no, she doesn't come by with the chicken, does she? No. Uh, I suppose you can get on that thing that she just looked at. Can you investigate the thing? It's no use. I can't read what it says. Let's see. Oh, hey! Now I remember what that sign says. If you would like some water, please ring the bell three times. Aha! Three times! Yeah. Waitress doesn't bring any water if you only ring the bell once. She said, those are the rules, apparently. I said, apparently? What do you mean, apparently? Don't you work here? Put a stickler for the details, this detective. Alright, that's what we get for not reading the signs. Give me the water to ride upon! You want more water? Huh? Oh, sorry, I didn't ring the bell. What's with the more water bit? No, oh, well, come on, this is your third glass. Okay, I get it. This was a little dick, wasn't it? Kind of like, hey, where's my food, right? N no, not at all. The signs didn't ring it. But I would like to see you bring my, my chicken soon. Duly doubted. In the meantime, enjoy a nice glass of water. Bye. I didn't pour nothing. Joke's on you. <laughs> <laughs> Just hop over here. Hmm. What's taking my chicken so long? Fortunately for you, according to what we saw before, the van arrives before your chicken does. In any case, just hanging around here isn't going to fix anything. We'll have to look for a way to get beyond this area. I'm already beyond this area. I'm going upstairs. On the Chicken Express. Does it count as going upstairs if you don't go upstairs? Maybe. <laughs> no. Just, uh, I, I, I don't know. Alright, and then we can just kind of hop over here. Can't and quite reach those. So. Hang out here for a minute. Can examine that. Here you go! <laughs> can I go stuff for the chicken? No. Well, I can listen to these now. So what do you think, my dear beauty? Do you really think we can trust this deal? Who knows? It's not our job to think about that. But those incidents did happen in this country, just as he predicted. Yeah, and they were pretty amusing too, weren't they? That fellow who sang out National Secrets during a live TV broadcast? And the man who laid siege to the Metro Police Department, taking the top dog hostage. But what if he double crosses us? It wouldn't be pretty. No, no. He needs this deal too. And we've accepted all his conditions as well. Yeah, and thanks to that we got here, uh, we gotta be here on this little extra assignment. But as long as I'm paired up with you, beauty, I don't mind. How do these two... 
How do they know about the cases at the special prison? Special prison? The guy who sang the national secrets. The man who held siege to Metro Police. Those cases are classified information. Hmm. I've heard about both of those cases. And recently, too. The perpetrators in those cases are being held at a special facility. That's where the special prison is. Or what the special prison is. But it's not known about by the general public. So prisoner D-99, Detective Jowd, is one of those special cases too, huh? <laughs> you two were talking about the very same cases I heard about just tonight. That couldn't be a coincidence, could it? Probably not. <gasps> Hmm. What is it, beauty? Why don't we move to a different spot? That table in the back looks good. Now you're talking, beauty, my dear. Just what I've been waiting for. A quiet, secluded spot, just the two of us. I wouldn't object to that. All of a sudden, I get this feeling someone is eavesdropping. My sixth sense is very strong, you know. There's the barman. That's all right, my dear. You don't have to make excuses. Off we go, across the bridge of poultry to the land of love. This guy's great. <laughs> I'm gonna take my chicken with me. Oh, but he left his suitcase. <laughs> I was on the suitcase. Yeah. What just happened? Did she sense we were here? What, with her sixth sense? <laughs> but, you know, I have some pretty amazing powers myself. Yeah? Like what? Like, like if there's chicken nearby, I can tell right away. That's called a sense of smell. I have one of those. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> at least the situation has changed a little bit now. I don't believe in a sixth sense. It's not scientific. Says the ghost. But come to think of it, we've been left behind, haven't we? It looks that way. Not having legs is even more inconvenient than I thought it would be. But what are we going to do now? They're all the way over there. I'm telling you, we'd better shake a leg that we don't have, <laughs> or we're going to miss what they're saying. It'd be pretty hard to shake a leg, not having legs and all. <laughs> I keep getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Dang it. Well, you got ahead of me that time. They're still talking about something. I want to hear. Me too. All right. Well, I'm going to examine the trunk. Uh, let's examine it real quick. There's one big trunk. Seems pretty heavy too. It's very suspicious and red. Red is sus. <laughs> hey, let's see what's in it. I'm sorry, but that's not possible. It's locked. Darn. I wanted to see what's inside. And ghosts can't look inside things. Dang it. They can't read. They can't see inside things. They don't got legs. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, it, did, it didn't let me do the triple ring. No. I was going to do like a, a water move. <laughs> water move. That's what they call it. They call it the water move. Off dispense this. That's true. While, you, while you're here, look at this happen. Haha! -ha. Oh, you just broke that glass! Just like you did my heart! A broken glass can never be put back the way it was. Just leave it there. Oh, it's another Russian guy. You're supposed to be French. My accent is <laughs> very terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Is a very, very bad accent. <laughs> you got oh, all right. Table. You can't just leave it. Somebody might get hurt. <laughs> Says the one who got crushed. Doesn't this trunk belong to that couple over there? The only thing we allow customers to lose here are their cares. I don't, I don't know what this accent is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is great. Miss, please go and let them know about the trunk if you would be so kind. How gallant of you! Might just fall for you, you know. Bye. 
Odd girl. I agree. Me too. God, oh God, so many places. I'm talking to myself like a loony. Uh, oh. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. Mm. Uh. Is she talking to them over there? Oh wait. Nope. I had to wait for his glass. Haha, I'm not trapped. Well, goodbye! I've been working here for two days and I've had my eye on you the whole time. I think this might be my last night working here, though. It's been fun! I guess she's leaving this place with her surprisingly short career intact. Oh. I'm gonna get the trunk. Of all the things to forget, it would have been pretty, uh, it wouldn't have been pretty if I forgot this. Yeah, I get. Okay. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, I'm so small. <laughs> it's got an impressive spine, too. I wish this thing had wheels. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we are, finally. I feel kind of bad about eavesdropping now. Not me. <laughs> I mean, we just delivered their lost trunk to them, after all. They owe us at least that much. What kind of detective says something like that? This kind! <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, we could swing. Oh, I want to get on the chicken! Yeah, it doesn't look like you can reach that far. Listen to their conversation at least. Can't believe I forgot the trunk of all things. With such a small body, you probably only have a small brain to match. Ah, that hurts beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. That's what he loves about her? I don't get it either. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Who to invite to the wedding? If we got married, that is, of course. We can talk about that when we are alone. But aren't we alone now, beauty? Huh? Do you think she senses our presence again? I spy a ladybug. A ladybug? I just hate little bugs. Things, things have, uh, things have escalated. What? After all that trouble, it happened anyway? Uh, it looks that way, yeah. It's not over yet, though. It's not? What are you talking about? You're not dead yet. N no, but I'm going to be in just a few seconds. But before that happens, maybe there's something we can do from here. <laughs> Just like under the, under the table. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing, and then the chicken swung closer so I can hop onto the chicken. And then. Uh, uh, hey! How about we. How about we go to this dead guy? Uh, hello? Looks like he's unconscious. Excuse me, could you hang up for a second, please? But she is ever this detective. The one thing I've learned is that the newly dead stay unconscious for a little while at first. Huh? Now, I was like that, and you were like that, too. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, if we restart the flow of time now, you'll die. Yeah, I know. So why don't we try going back even further in time? What? Even further? But how? Simple. We go back four minutes before the death of this poor driver here. You can do that? I've never tried it before, so I don't know how it'll go. But if we can erase this driver's death, then I should erase your death too. Oh, wow. I can't think of any other way, so let's do it. Back further in time. Oh, man. 